Hey guys, Papa Dan, how's everybody doing today? Well, this video is not an update, it's an update, but not an update on the Jag. Um, I did go out to, to Hobby Lobby the other day and I got the tubing that I needed um, to for the shocks uh, that I was talking about in my last video. And I do have the body in primer. Um, I got some body work done on it and got it in primer. It looks good. Uh, that I'll show you on the, the next update on the Jaguar. Uh, but this one, this update is a stash update. Tomorrow is, is my birthday and it is my retirement day. And I've been kind of, I've been saving up some money here and there. And... So what I did, so I went a little crazy. <laughs> I'm really, really enjoying this, this 1-8 scale Jaguar. Um, it's easier for me to handle, it's easier to see, it's easier to paint. I mean, it's, I'm really, really enjoying it. So I went a little crazy and bought a few more. <laughs> Um, so that's what this video is. Uh, it's a stash update, like I said, and I'm just going to show you what I bought to keep me occupied in, in my retirement days. <laughs> um, so let me turn, let me turn this camera around and I'll be right back. Hang on. Alrighty, so what we're going to do is we're going to start small and work our way up. Um, uh, Caleb just filmed a, a video and he talked about this one real quick right at the beginning of the video. Um, but this is one, I had bought this one for Caleb and he had his eye on one of my Gundams in my stash. So he asked if we could trade kits. And of course... I said, yes, I mean, who's going to turn their grandson down, right? So, um, but I really like the body style on this one, so I didn't have any problem with it. But it, it's the uh, Chrysler Atlantic uh, Super Snap Ultra, and, but it, I mean, it, that's going to make a, a really nice little curbside build. So I'm excited about that, and I'm sure Caleb will probably help me with it when the time comes. So, that's the first one. Now, and let me start by saying that I paid, the most I paid for any of these, for any one of these models was... 40 bucks. I think it was like 39.50 or 39.75 off of eBay. Uh, I got I found some really 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 good deals on eBay. And with uh, shipping included and everything, so I mean, I I think I did really well. But next one up, this one just looked like it was going to be a fun little build. Uh, the Revell BMW Isetta 250. Uh, it's uh, 94 parts as you can see there. It's a 1 16th scale. All of these are either 1 16th or 1 12th scale kits. I'm sure you've all seen I'm sure you've all seen this one. A 55 Chevy Nomad, uh, 1 16th scale, and this is brand new, still still factory wrapped and everything. Haven't decided how I'm going to do this one yet, but looking forward to that one. The Ferrari Testa Testa Rosa. And I don't, 
one of the other guys is, is building a Ferrari right now. And I think it was Tom, old, old, old Tom, Rambler69, that made the comment that if you paint a Ferrari in anything other than red, that it's a hangable offense. <laughs> so, I don't know if I'm going to go red or uh, maybe purple. I don't know. <laughs> but, that that's another 1 16th scale. 57 Ford T-Bird. And again, it's all it's still factory wrapped. I think I paid 25 for that one. I think that's what it was. But opening doors and hood uh, comes with the hoses and wiring and everything, as you can see there on the box. And what's really cool about this one, there you can see the, the side there. Um, but this one you can build either as the convertible or you can build it with the hard top or top up so uh, you know um, but I think this is the way I'm gonna build it I, I like the style of that a little better than I do the than the uh, the convertible there the Hawaiian Charger funny car and again, 1 16th scale. So this one ought to be fun. Looking forward to that one. Found a 57 Chevy convertible. Now this one's a 1 12th or a 1 16th scale, so it's not, not quite the same scale as the other one. But this one's the convertible, so I'll, I'll definitely build, you know, the other one, and they'll be right next to each other. That way I'll have the hard top and a convertible. The 82 Pontiac Firebird. Again, 1 16th scale. And I, I couldn't walk away from that. I mean, it's... The sticker price on it is, is $39.99, and then you take the 40% off with the coupon and sorry I just I just couldn't walk away from it <laughs> so I've got the 82 and I've got the 79 Firebird but a Cobra 427 uh, again in 1 16th scale and even the the few that I got here were the were the boxes like this one the boxes is, is pretty much beat up but the kit itself is in great shape um, bags are still all sealed all the parts are in it but I found this is the first of the old Bandai kits that I that I got a hold of that's a 112 scale Excalibur S S S S S K. I, I'll spit it out. Uh, but Bandai did a classic, as you can see there, a classic car collection. And this is one of them that I'm really excited to build. I think this is probably going to be my next build after the Jaguar. Um, I it looks really really good again all the it was opened but all the parts are sealed are still sealed in the bags is the the 1 16th scale Brigati Royale type 41 and that that's another old Bandai kit that's one of that's another of the six that they've made and there was, I did find a third one on eBay, but they wanted stupid money for that one. So I just, I dreamt about it for a little bit and just went right on by. <laughs> um, but this one, I think I paid, I think this one was 
$30 and the Excalibur was $20. Now, honey, I don't know how you do it. You're at work. You're supposed to be teaching our young kids and I get a text from you. But I have to admit, it has, it has been a while since you've interrupted my videos with your text messages. <laughs> so anyways, um, last, the last kit that I want to show you, I definitely saved the best till last. And this kit deserves a very special shout out. Um, Mike, Topper Vision down in Orlando, Florida. He had this kit in his stash and he knows this was probably this was right at the top of my Holy Grail kit. Um, it going back a long time, I built this kit for my father-in-law and because this was his favorite car. And when he passed away, he was up in Michigan, and I'm not real sure whatever happened to it. Um, his son took care of his estate up in Michigan and everything, and I'm sure he probably, you know, handed it down to one of his grandkids or something, so, which is fine. But I've been looking for it and wanting to build it again. Well, the prices on eBay on this particular kit are pretty high. Uh, it's, it's an old kit. It, it's a big kit, and it's old. Um, but Mike came through for me. He sent me an email, and he said, Be watching your, watching your mailbox. So he sent me this 1937 cord and that is awesome Mike I, I cannot thank you enough buddy uh, you I, I'm <laughs> I, I just don't have the words Mike I, I cannot thank you enough for this uh, it's just outstanding um, it's just another really big example of how this community comes together to help everybody else and he, all he asked in return he didn't want to he didn't want to sell it to me he he wouldn't even let me pay for shipping um, he just asked for a, a couple of small things in return and I'm working on that mic. I'm still waiting on one of the items to come in. And then I'll get that box in the mail to you. And I'm going to be working on your cup here. And then I'll get that in the mail to you. So, Mike, again, I thank you very, very, very much. Uh, I, I just... I. I, I like I said I don't have the words to explain how I feel every, every time I see this I mean I, I look up above my bench and I see it sitting up there in the box and I'm just going wow so again thank you very 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 much Mike so anyways that's my um, that's my stash additions I hope everybody up north is staying warm and stay safe because I noticed a lot of a lot of the videos that have been going up the last day or so uh, you guys got one of those late season snowstorms so stay uh, stay warm stay safe and I know we don't have to deal with snow down here but maybe I'll make a real quick video of what we do deal with here while you guys are dealing with your late late snowstorms I'll show you with what what we deal with here in Florida but anyways that that'll just be a little
explain quick little video. <laughs> so, okay, guys, thanks a lot, and we'll see you on the next update. Bye. Hey, guys, Papa Dan here. I just wanted to show you real quick. I know you guys have got snow up north and everything, but I guess we can call this uh, Florida snow. <laughs> and this is only, this, this is pollen that's in the air that's all over my car. And this is only two days since I've washed my car. Now your, your snow, it melts and just goes away by itself. I mean, I know you have to shovel your sidewalk and everything, but this stuff has to be washed. And these trees here, these trees are going to be the death of me yet. In fact, let me walk across the street here so I can get you a good view of them. Hang on just one second. And I had to walk across the street and down two houses in order to get that all in one shot. And these trees are huge and as you can see you can't even see my sidewalk going up to my to my front door I mean these leaves are like I don't know a couple of inches thick probably I mean it's, it's ridiculous and we get this twice a year these stupid trees shed like this so, guess what my first project's going to be when I retired? Papa Dan and his son are going to be cutting down some trees. Because I just put a new roof on this house. And I'll be danged if I'm going to have these trees tear it up like it did the old one. So, anyways, just wanted to share with you. You guys may have your snow but we got Florida snow. <laughs>